actual skill, I'm like B+, plus, but my, my accounts are D-, minus, so just don't worry about that. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I think Jaehoon definitely fits into that category. <laughs> Is that, hmm, maybe that's how he got on the pro team. Who that knows? Probably is. Maybe maybe he's like, uh, guys, I'm actually really good. And NBC is like, sure. Yeah, they believed him. They he's really sure. convincing. Oh my god. Wow. That was a NBC game rest in peace I, sign. Wow. I think so. Oh, that's actually... Touching. Uh, that's, yeah, that's kind of heart, heartwarming. I don't know if they like that at OGN. But they didn't censor it, so well, I get to do. Okay, they showed that sign, and they wouldn't show my signs. That I am, like, really hurt right sad. now. I am deeply offended. <laughs> Actually, no, that was a really good sign. Oh, by the way, guys, since Stork is playing, I, I found out a fun fact while browsing TLPD this morning. You, you want to know what that is, Polon? It's yeah, that Stork's, Stork's longest winning streak is apparently 13 games. Oh, 13, shit. 13, yeah. Flash. 13 Flash's longest winning streak. I'll let you guess how long Flash's winning streak is. His longest. Um, I don't know, but like, didn't he have like a 20 or 22 DVT win streak or something? Uh, I don't know about that, but according to TLPD, his yeah. longest winning streak is 12, and Stork has 13. So, I don't care about all you Flash fanboys <laughs> like, oh, Flash, he's the ultimate weapon, he's the greatest player in the world. No! Alright, Stork has one more game in his win streak. Alright, clearly, not only is he more handsome than Flash, but he's also a better player. Boom. This is quite irrefutable, I feel. Now, it could be that I just, like, misread the numbers, but I'm just gonna go with that for now. We're just gonna ignore everybody in the chat that's telling me I'm wrong. And we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go with that. So yeah. Anyway, looks like uh, probes got into to both players' bases. Um, so we're gonna have to wait for some dragoon action uh, before we can see anything fancy. It's like Jaehyun being a little bit obnoxious with his probe guy. Even the cameraman's like, let's just you know take some shots of the players first. Looks like um, Stork Ooh. didn't forget to get range. <laughs> nice. And Unfortunately, though, he'd get manor pylons pretty hardcore. Um, I think two probes got trapped, and it seems like a third one is going around the back, so that's kind of effective. But he's got a Dragoon out, so this will be over in like five seconds. Yeah, it looks he like he does, it, yeah, he does nice. cancel. Did, uh, did Stork skip his Zealot? Did he just go straight Goon? Yeah, it looks like he actually went straight Goon, uh, which sometimes is a bit risky, but since he got the scout in, uh, he knows he's not in any danger. And it looks like we have a Citadel, actually, straight away yeah. from Stork. So Stork going to do some DT rushing action here. Man, when was the last time I saw Stork DT rush? And we saw Stork DT rush. I don't know. It seems kind of popular nowadays, though. Like, like maybe 50% of the PvPs that we watch actually have DTs in them. It's maybe, kind of maybe that? he's hoping to get another draw with Jaehoon. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, because he wants to play, he wants to play new games. He's like really pumped up today. He wants to play twice, so he's just gonna get a draw. Uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe he plans on um, mind controlling the Kakaru. Yeah, I don't know why they're so obsessed with the Kakaru. It's like not gonna do anything. <laughs> did you see the Did you see the big post by VTL about MSL? Uh, yes. I have not finished reading all of it yet, though. I'm like halfway no, through. No, me either, but I watched like a bunch of the recommended games, and in one game, uh, Kingdom actually mind controls a Kakaru and scouts with it, and it's pretty cool. I that is that pretty sweet. Before. It's pretty pointless, though, because, um, whoa! Hello, oh. expansion! Wow. Okay, so Jaehoon is taking a hidden nexus in the top left. He's getting a robo now, but that is going to be quite close. I think he's going to have to block his ramp and like take a few shots from the DT before the OBS gets out. Um, hopefully he pokes at the front and sees this. If he pokes at the front and he sees the cannon, he'll know exactly what's going on. Unfortunately, he's playing very defensive right now, which is understandable Stork. considering he made a nexus. Yeah. Stork's only got one gateway though, so it's only going to be one DT initially. Yeah, well, um, I mean, it's a fast expansion build. It's a 1 gate DT yeah, expansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just gonna DT and then get the expansion up. One thing I would like to point out, though, is that, um, um, I, I, I'm not sure about the exact order in which things happen, but I think that Jaehoon sent a probe to the, uh, uh 7 o'clock expansion and Stork scouted that. So Stork might be kind of, like, on the fence about Jaehoon's, 
uh, sneaky expansion. Uh, Some, wait, plant. did something just get into the base? Oh wait, sorry, that's Kakara. No, no, no. Oh my god, I saw a yellow dot on the minimap. I'm like, holy shit, it's a pro. <laughs> All right, so Jayun is completely uh, on top of this. He's got his ramp blocked and shit. Yeah, he's gonna be and. Fine. So uh, Stork might get a free Zealot or or uh, or a Dragoon or two, um, but yeah. Jehun should be should be absolutely fine here. Uh, the only ooh look at look at that actually glitching out with the probe a little bit. Oh 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 no! He actually what messed up and allowed the DT into his base. Jehun making a huge blunder there, but the observer should be out shortly anyway, so he'll yeah, lose yeah. maybe a couple of probes. Uh well five kills. One of those is a Zealot. Six kills. Oh shit! Oh doing a nice glitch. That is. That's ridiculously hard to do if you can't see the DT, but he's still. I don't know why you would lose any probes if you if you know the observer's out in like five seconds. Oh, oh my god! Huh? That second DT. How that, did that get there? Uh, well, it, Stork just oh. rallied it straight there, and while the dragoons were back yeah. defending the the mineral line, uh, yeah, it just yeah. ran in, and looks like he's just gonna go in now. I think he actually went a little bit early here. I think what he should have done is waited for the counterattack from Jehun and then sent it in while all the units were away yep. and Jehun was distracted. But it looks like he's going to get seven, maybe eight probe kills anyway. Yeah, he got seven kills and I think that's really decent. And I think he just didn't want to wait for the second observer. Maybe that's why. I think that's why he went. Yeah, and it looks like he's got a couple of High Templars, got cannons, he's most likely going to have Storm, so he'll be okay against the counterattack. However, he... Wait, yeah. Jaehoon's actually taking his natural as well, just taking a third Nexus right now, and I think this is exactly the kind of thing he needs to, to come back from that uh, economic deficit. I mean, he's taking a pretty huge risk right now, but, I mean, Stork, he probably thinks he's a lot more ahead than, uh, than he actually is. Because he has no idea about the top left. We're looking at his first person view right now, he has no yeah. idea whatsoever about that. Yeah, it's weird that he... Hmm. It's weird that he, because he got a really good view of the of, of Jehun's main base, so he should probably be able to, you know, mastermind his way to the conclusion that Jehun has a nexus somewhere. Is that like a... It's very hard, I think. I mean, Jehun had two gateways and an obs. For all Stork knows, he yeah, could have yeah. been about to throw down a nexus at his natural. In which case, I yeah. don't think it's that weird looking at the base, and Stork isn't mm -hmm. showing any indication that he knows what's going on. He's building a cannon in his main just to be safe against any kind of Ooh. crazy counter drop. No, he is. Oh. Oh, yeah. looks like you're right. He is no, a little bit there? suspicious. Is there? No, it's not here. Alright, where's this guy gonna go? Stork, are you actually a genius? Uh. Uh, it looks like it is going in the right direction, and this is going to be so terrible. Like, one DT can just shut that whole base down, easy yeah, peasy. Yeah. Oh, nicely done by Stork. Man, so, well, excellent looks... game sense, knowing that the minerals were missing. Yeah, yeah. Observer pointing out how many minerals are missing, and Jaehoon is just running there. <laughs> He's like, uh... Oh, he's got DTs out of himself, so maybe, maybe if he can get the DTs to the ramp, then maybe he'll be safe. But Stork doesn't look, it, it doesn't look like he's, you know, making any effort towards moving out. I mean, he was on one robo when, uh, one gateway when he expanded, and then he, oh, oh well, wow. wow. Hello. I was gonna say, like, I don't really understand the Hello. point of two DTs coming out from Jaehoon at this point. Even if he went for a DT drop, there is a cannon in the main minerals, but that is very interesting. Of course, uh, the follow-up from a DT Expo is to go for fast High Templar, so getting that Dark Archon is a very interesting choice. Of course, uh, if yeah. Jaehoon tried to follow up with High Templar of his own, they'd be much, much slower. He wouldn't have nearly as many storms. But to get that Dark Archon immediately, I mean, it starts with feedback. You don't need to research it. It's only 50 energy for a feedback, so it can definitely get two feedbacks off uh, before, before the main engagement, which would be very crucial. Since, you know, otherwise he's just gonna have to rely on his uh, Zealots and Goons. So one thing I'm wondering is, is where is, uh, where are Stork's observers? He got an observatory, but I, I don't know where his observers are, because Jaehoon's army is much, much, much smaller than Stork's. So I don't know why he's putting any more, why he isn't putting more pressure on. I don't understand why Jaehoon's not pulling probes. Wow, very <laughs> slow reaction there. Meantime, DT kills <laughs> two and probes, by the way. I mean, he oh, should have been on, like, on top of that base because you know he saw Stork scouted it. DT going there was 
pretty obvious step, I think. Uh, but oh man, look at this. Goon's just going to intercept all the probes running away. Wow. Looks like only two probes going to escape here. Yeah. It's weird because when, as soon as Jane was scouted, he threw down a pylon. So, you know, I was expecting at least one cannon. But, uh, not so much. Meantime, though, um, j has got a decent amount of gateways up. Um, I think I counted at least six, but I'd really like to know how many, how many Stork has. Now, Stork uh, just lost his observer that was over Jehun's army, but that means he did see the Dark Archon, and ooh, looks like we had a shuttle go over the natural. Looks like most of the probes did pull away. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see if anything actually dropped. It could have actually just been a fake. There might not actually be anything in there, it's just scaring Jaehoon into running away, and it looks like, yeah, Stork's army is now going to go in for the attack, I haven't seen any feedbacks yet, the Dark Archon hasn't fed back anything, where are the High Templar actually? Oh, Stork's they're actually the keeping them all in the shuttle now, okay, I guess yeah, there yeah. are things in that shuttle. Uh, wow, very smart move, but oh, double feedback oh. on the High Templars, very nice move, a third feedback, getting three High Templars, Stork doesn't get a single storm off, brilliant use of the High Templar by Jaehoon, oh, look at that. Oh. Templars Those are so are fragile, you're basically guaranteed a kill. If they have enough energy for Storm, they have enough energy to die. And it looks like Jaehoon might actually take this battle. Stork's just going to go commit, though, and try and take down as many units as he can. But there's a DT there, and he has no there's Observer, so he's not going to win right. that one. Wow, Stork. Stork looks shocked. He's like, oh my god. I just got Stork killed by such a sexy strat. Froggy, I don't know. So this DT isn't going to do anything, but I just want to point out how sick those feedback snipes were. Seriously so good. Yeah, he hit them as soon as they got out of the yeah, shuttle. Yeah. That was beautiful. Their feet touched the ground and they were gone. I think he was waiting for it though. He definitely like had the F button pressed. He was like mousing yeah, over the yeah. shuttle, just like waiting. He's like, come on, come on Templar. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we might have a storm drop now in the back of the natural. Third, and Jaehoon's third is... Show the Nexus progress. Uh, storm. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, not bad. Stork looks like he's gonna shut down that third. No. Well, he's still like 25 still supply ahead, so he's fine. Yeah, yeah. Stork still has the like the army advantage. So Jaehoon really needs to keep his army together. And this uh, this Dark Archon will give him somewhat of an edge right now, but, um, like, it's probably out of energy, right? He did four feedbacks, that's like 200 energy. Yeah, he probably has so maybe one more feedback right now, maybe two, but, maybe. I mean, the thing is also, Stork got his third base up so much faster, um, yeah, he yeah. killed so many probes earlier as well. Uh, you know, even though that's a very nice engagement for Jaehoon, uh, he's just playing catch-up still at this point, and it, very interesting, two Dragoon drop on the back here, it's going to take down that uh, cannon at least, and deny a little bit of mining. Uh, huh. It's, it's, he's like, you know, it's like a tank drop, but it's a Dragoon drop. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. Like, Dragoons are the worst for, you know, shooting uphill, though. So, maybe that's oh, what he's like doing. Looks like we're going to have another big engagement here. And Stork has actually just gone for Archons. Just, uh, you know, just going to not even bother making any High Templar with that Dark Archon there. And, you know, i got to say, so far he's been doing an amazing job. What he's been doing is using that shuttle to pull uh, uh, some of Jaehoon's Dragoons back. And then he, like, goes in at the front. And Jaehoon just GG's immediately. Yeah. Wow, alright. Giving it up, and Stork takes game number one here. Uh, I would like to applaud Jaehoon for not making us suffer through another 10 minutes of uh, silliness, as we have been seeing a lot of pro gamers do recently. He knew he lost the game at that point, and he GG'd appropriately. Yeah, it's not. I think that uh, the coach maybe kind of said, okay, let's not do this GG, uh, fantasy GG timing anymore. And now players are actually GGing in time. Dude, uh, I'm, I'm just going to translate. Yeah. Jaehoon's probably whining about how imbalanced DTs are in that right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's weird that he let the one DT in because he had the ramp so well blocked. And he actually kind of... Um, well, what, you mean the second DT probed? that went into his main? No, no, the first because he actually oh. kind of probe drilled his own. Yeah, yeah, that, block, was, that was pretty dumb. Which was silly. Alright. Time to bust out the second VOD. Just give me one sec to load it up. Yep. Alright, I am uh, ready when you are. 
All right, starting in three, two, one, go.